All right, now that officially the WWE draft is over, rosters locked in, all that, we can move forward. And we now we can look at the Raw, SmackDown, you know, NXT and all that and see where the roster stands and see who can step up for a title and who basically should just figure out the catering list for the week. So with that, I'm gonna take a look at Raw today. And this is the Raw title scene post the WWE draft. All right, let's start with the Intercontinental title. The current champion is Sami Zayn, who won it at WrestleMania in a fantastic match against Gunther, ending his long reign. And for uh, these, I'm gonna break it down by who I think are top you know, challengers, top contenders, that if they stepped into a program now, like right now, it makes sense. Or if they're not the next challenger, they're the very next challenger for that. And then I'm gonna go what I call Dark Horse slash down the line, who either I can see, you know, we're in May now as a re this recording, maybe in the fall, winter they could challenge for a uh, title of this champion stays the same. Or if they were given like a one-off, like random episode of a Raw match, th that'll be down the line slash Dark Horse. So for the Intercontinental title, I have my top challengers as Chad Gable, Bronson Reed, Braun Breaker, and Ilya Dragunov. Chad Gable and Bronson are there because they're currently in the feud for the Intercontinental title. And a triple threat is scheduled coming up soon. I, it's either on a Raw or at King and Queen Arena. I can't remember which. Uh, even if Sammy wins, I expect one of them to stay in the hunt. Or if one of them wins the title, I expect the three to still kind of be intermingled because the story's kind of good. So those are two top challengers as of now. I put Braun Breaker because he has like the backing he has pushed to the moon a uh, status like a uh, like a jade cargill on a uh, women's side he has that booking right now so look for him to go against sammy should sammy get through gable and bronson the next couple months um maybe a braun breaker sammy feud for money at bank SummerSlam, all that kind of stuff would be dope and i have Ilya dragunov because in a similar vein like maybe not before money at bank in july august SummerSlam, but Ilya Dragunov right now could hop into an Intercontinental Championship feud and it makes sense. He is a NXT champion. He dropped it, then came to the main roster. And he has like, the booking behind him. He has the aura, 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 aura. He has that behind him. Sami Zayn versus Ilya would just, oh. So moving on to down the line, Dark Horses. I have Sheamus, Braun Strowman, Rey Mysterio, Ivar, and Ricochet. Sheamus kind of needs kind of needs a few going on. I if they run it back with the Drew stuff, throw him into the Drew CM Punk feud, sure it makes sense. I feel like he's kind of done with Gunther at this moment. You know, a Sheamus Sammy title run, like from a SummerSlam to a Survivor Series, because Sheamus, you no, know, he's the, the Intercontinental title for Sheamus is the one title he hasn't earned yet, and that would kind of be like he did it. He did everything he could. So that could be a fun thing in the fall. Braun Strowman just come, came back from a uh, neck surgery or neck injury, something like that. And sh uh, right now he's a face. I see him going against Judgment Day or teaming with, again, with Ricochet or being a friend to Jey Uso, all that kind of stuff. But should he decide to go for Aaron Connell title, a Sami Zayn Braun Strowman feud would be awesome. I don't see that happening like in the next couple months, but again, you want to go to the fall. You want to do that leading to like a crown jewel in November. All that kind of stuff. Fun. Rey Mysterio is Sami Zayn. Rey Mysterio is at the point where he could just throw him in a feud. Or throw him into a random match for a kind of title. And no one would hate it. He's a legend. He's beloved. So he's more so a dark horse. Like, oh cool. Sami and Rey are going to have a cold match for a title. Ivar. He was in this, this scene. Now he kind of fell out of it. He's kind of doing some NXT. Once he comes back to Raw. You can uh, throw him in there with Sami Zayn and get him mix it up. And Ricochet and Sami Zayn would be dope. Ricochet is one of those people who almost like the Rey Mysterio, but not before you, you jump. I'm not comparing Ricochet to uh, Rey Mysterio. I'm just saying in the, in the vein of this, he's kind of like someone who can just jump into an a Intercontinental title match and nobody would bat eyes. Like, oh, cool. It's going to be great. All that kind of stuff. So he's more of a dark horse than down the line. Next, I have the world tag team titles held by Austin Truth. And this list is kind of thin because it's the tag team scene in WWE. There's tag teams, but as far as contenders, I really have two right now, personally. 
and that's the AOP. Now they're on Raw, and Alpha Academy could go after again. It makes sense. Those really are ones as of right now could jump in and have a feud, and especially AOP. I think they're next. Me personally, but Alpha Academy, should they embrace the new Chad Gable? That would be kind of fun. Uh, even if they're uh, Bay faces, like be more aggressive, cheat just the hair, all that. They could be top challengers right away. And then my dark horse down the lines are LWO, the Creed Brothers, and New Catch Republic. Those are more so like one off tag tiles or uh, matches on Random Raw. New Catch Republic would definitely be down the line. I can see that being a feud for like a money in the bank or something like that. Maybe a SummerSlam to give Miz a home win because he's from Cleveland. Creeds, they've been ruined by uh, their uh, shitty, shitty interest music. Hashtag Fire Death Rebel. And LWO, just throwing a match whenever and it'll be fun. They proved on NXT, they can just wrestle. They just need the opportunity. So those are dark horses for the tag titles. All right, next we have the Women's World title. Currently held by Becky Lynch, who won it after the unfortunate injury to Rhea Ripley. Hashtag get well soon. But for the top challengers, like for that, I have Liv Morgan, Asuka, Io Sky. I would throw Rhea in there, but Rhea's obviously gone for a couple months. And there's a very good chance that Becky's not even the champion when she gets back. Io Sky was just champion for a while. Now she could be a top challenger. It makes sense, especially with damage control behind her. You know, no one bats the eye. A oh, fun couple months for Dark Horse down the line. I put Dakota Kai, Lyra Valkyra, and Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler. Dakota Kai would be fun because as the ringleader of Damage Control, it would make sense to throw her in a feud. Even I don't see her winning it, it would be fun. Lyra is the shiny new toy of the division, and they Lyra is the one who beat uh, Becky for the NXT Women's Title, so they can run something like that back. If you want to do a, a, a surprise pop thing, they can have Lyra win it. I don't think they will. But again, Dark Horse like or down the line, run up in the fall. Zoe Stark, Shane Baszler, you can start them in a random match and make it for a title. Everyone's like, oh, cool. Zoe Stark, you build her back up a little bit. That could be a feud for the fall. So those are my Dark Horses for the women's title. And now we get to the World Heavyweight Championship, currently held by Damian Priest, who committed heist of the century part do part dos anyway he cashed in the resume became el campeon and is the leader of judgment day with rhea ripley out and his top challengers are main event jay uso seth rollins who i i put him in here because i don't know the severity of his injury i don't know how long he's out my gut tells me it's not super long so he might be back soon but if he is super out then obviously he's not but i'm leaning towards he is back soon but anyway, Gunther, Drew McIntyre, and CM Punk. Jay obviously challenged him at Backlash, came up short. But I can see them running it back because that match was great. And Jay is basically the most over person on the Raw roster. Sorry, CM Punk, but it's Jay. Gunther, it's his time. Um, he is pretty much the odds, if there's betting odds somewhere out there, he's the odds on favorite to win the King of the Ring. And a Gunther Damian Priest match would hit hard. Drew McIntyre obviously was the one Damian Priest cashed in on to win a title. And so while Drew and CM Punk are kind of brutal with each other, I think the winner of that feud immediately becomes top contender. So between who between them, they kind of fight it out. Whoever wins that becomes top contender. So they're both up there as far as you know, top challenges for Damian Priest. My dark horse down the line. I have Braun Breaker, Finn Balor, Sheamus, and Braun Strowman. Uh, the Finn Balor one is interesting because, you know, Damian Priest is starting was starting to piss Finn off. JD a little bit, uh, and Dom's hurt, so I don't count him. But Finn Balor, Damian Priest, a little mini feud for, like, not only the title, but, like, the leader of Judgment Day would be fun. Braun Breaker, if they want to keep pushing him to the moon, he can have get like a couple wins and get a random championship opportunity on a Raw will be fun. Sheamus, Damian Priest would be great. And Sheamus, if you gave Sheamus a random shot, like especially at like a uh, like a clash at the castle where he's, I know he's not Scottish, but he's kind of from the area. So if you're not going to give Drew McIntyre a shot that night, Sheamus isn't a bad option. 
and Braun Strowman is a big guy who can throw people around. He can go monster, go tear through Judgment Day, get to Damian Priest. Down, and that's down the line. I don't see that happening to like, maybe that's a SummerSlam match. Who knows? But yeah, those are my dark horses for the World Heavyweight Championship. Let me know in the comments. Did, did I get it wrong? Did I get it right? Who would you swap out? If I didn't mention somebody again, it's because they're either seriously injured, not on a not on a roster like they're fr free agents, or they're f they're just there. I'm sorry, <laughs> they're just kind of there. You can find me on my socials at everywhere at it's heartfelt. But right now, I'm just heartfelt. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace.